everybody, Jordan Yates here. Welcome back to my channel and today's Soldering for Beginners project. Now this one is super fun and interactive because one, I love soldering switches, which are all of these, which look like buttons, but they're actually called switches if we're talking about them in the electrical schematic sort of way. We have a super fun output and then we get to practice soldering a little bit of wire where we will solder on the back, which is the speaker, and then soldering on the battery pack wires, which are hidden right now. But other than that, it's all switches. The nice thing about switches are once you put them on the board, you don't really have to hold them in place. They hold themselves, which you will see very soon. And they're just super fun to use. Now let's get into actually soldering. Well, basically it's just showing us that we have to put all the switches in, showing us how to solder a switch, and then that we would install the speakers, the wires, and then um, adding in the battery pack. But for me, this is saying to put the pillars in last. I like to put the pillars in first. So that'll be one of the first things I do. But let me show you here. Here is the board the project board that it comes on pretty cool this is one of the bigger soldering projects i've done so far this is the battery pack that we will solder on I need to actually get the batteries for it then this is the speaker function excited to see how this works um it's always interesting it looks like there's already some solder here so maybe Maybe that's to make it easier when we solder onto it. And then in here, looks like we have just the components of the, the stand, the screws, and the couple wires. And then basically the only components we're soldering on that are like electrical are going to be the switches. So putting the legs on. Here's all of our components. The legs go here, 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 and here in these corners. We get a small screw and one of these legs. And this side up with like the letters on it, this is the upside. So we'll put the screw through the top and then we'll just screw the leg on. This packet also shows you a schematic of the system diagram. So it shows you like the electrical symbol for each and every one of these switches, which you'll notice they're basically all the same. So we have our IC, which is our integrated chip, and then our capacitors. And then this follows the lines down and controls all of our switches. So when our switches are pressed, it will then send a feedback signal I'll send feedback to here and then it will send a signal to the speaker and the speaker will make the noise. So in the nice thing, like I said, about the switches is that when you put them in, they just kind of stay in the board. You don't really have to hold them in place while soldering. So this is like the easiest soldering for beginner. And then there's no leads to clip either, which is really nice. So I'll show you kind of up close how to start with one. So basically just take it. And some of these like gear leads can get a little bit bent. So you just kind of have to like bend them and that's okay. And then it's a through hole. So it literally means it goes through the hole. And just like that, it's in place, but we have to solder it for it to work. But you can see there's tiny little legs coming through the back and we'll just solder those in place. So before, I start soldering it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these switches on. We have placed all of the switches in. They're not soldered yet, but they have been placed so we can solder them. All right, now we'll start soldering. So we'll start by heating up our pad. And then we'll touch our solder to the pad. And there it goes, it just fills it up. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for you guys and get a good look at what that looks like. And I'm gonna turn my fan on so it's gonna be a little loud. 
So it's always nice to have a fan so it can pull the smoke away from you. Especially because I'm bad and I like to use a... Uh, I like to use, I, uh, what is it, leaded solder, which isn't the best for you. Bring my fan a little closer. So, we'll just go through one at a time, soldering these on. Make sure you get it nice and good. There we go. So much fun. I love soldering switches. And so, if you guys see here, it's like, this works, it's technically enough, but sometimes I like to add a little bit more just to make sure the solder connection is good. Okay, so we now have all of the switches soldered on, looking good. Now we are going to screw on the speaker. Go this way, flip it over. Speaker wires will be over here. So I imagine this needs to face this way. Line up your holes. And then bring it in through the back. Just hold it with that back finger. And then we will take one of these little nuts. Okay, show you that mostly tight. I always just have a bunch of these little like screwdrivers and flatheads around just in case for things like this. So just happen to have this sitting on my desk. So now we have this screwed on. Before screwing this on the battery holder, we are going to solder the um the wires to the pad here the positive and negative ground ground is our black wire and our positive is our red wire okay so we're going to solder those accordingly i like to just take the rubber and just burn it right off you could also use a wire stripper but careful it'll be hot you can get in there this is where you live now. There you go. Now we'll be happy in your new home. We will be happy. Let it cool. All right, there we go. Now it is stuck. Shall wait. All right, let's put some solder on this pad next. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so now that our pad is ready, that's probably what I should have told you guys to do first. Now we will put our exposed wire into the solder. All right, so just kind of like heat it up. I feel like when I was learning to solder, this is one of my biggest learning curves was trying to solder wires. I'm gonna kind of like wrap it all in there. Just be one big happy soldered family. No, you keep back in there. Zoom. Okay. All connected and we're going to get our little nuts. Alrighty, we easily put the wire on. Get back over here. Just gonna let it dry before moving it. Okay, I might go back and add a little bit more solder. Nice. All right, we've done it. We've done it. We've soldered everything there is to solder. We have it all connected. And now all we have to do is add the battery. All right, so it looks like we need three AA batteries. Put these in. Ooh! 
Do you hear this? It works, guys. It works, it works, it works. Okay. Guys, this is so cool. Let's just turn the volume up. Okay, so it says we can record. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got to learn something and you enjoy your new soldering project. Now, if you are wanting to, you know, learn how to actually use the board that's been soldered, now that you learned to solder, here is an instruction. So I had this on my other camera, but I kept blurring it out wrong. So let's see, if you want to record a song, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this record button here. You will then compose your song. And then you will press the stop button, which is here. And then you will press replay. And there you go. Now you can not just, you know, solder and have that cool skill, but you can record your musical genius and enjoy. But guys, I hope you learned a thing or two about soldering. I hope you had fun. And I hope that your love for soldering switches is as deep as mine now. If not, well, guys, we can solder some more switches. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.